Well, in season one, um, you get introduced to Tommy at the, the start of the season, like you do all the other characters. Um, and throughout the season, I guess, you see that he obviously has a murky background with his family, who certainly have some criminal aspect. He is from the traveling community, um, and he was a, a fighter. Like He was involved in bare-knuckle boxing and things. Um, which is all hinted at and you see maybe little bits of it but it took a long time for them to actually give me a fight <laughs> but eventually they did um, so you see him in a bit of action he's a weapons and tactics specialist this is is what he really brings to the team um, and you see him interact with obviously there's a bit of tension there with Hickman at the start he's skeptical of people when they come in he's um, He's always kind of on the offensive, I suppose you might say. Um, but then you see how he interacts with the with the team and as they go through solving crimes, different levels of trust build up, I guess, with different aspects of, uh, of this team that has been created and this family, essentially, that is brought together. Um, you see some interaction then with his past catches up with him a little bit in episode six, I think. No, seven, six. I can't remember. <laughs> and then um, there's a nice scene at the start of one of the episodes with his brother. I don't know if I can say too much. Um, yeah, so by the end of the season, he's, he's kind of moved from being um, out, outwardly very confrontational and suspect of everybody, suspect of this team, to being much more uh, a team player, trusting the family and feeling supported from all sides and offering his support as well. At the start of season two, we see where they've left off in season one. And as the series continues, uh, while we solve crimes and uh, those cases are still ongoing, we're learning more and more about Tommy in particular, about his family, but also his relationship with uh, police services in England. Uh, particularly at one new character who comes in, a um, character called Miles Lennon, who's a very senior police officer in the UK who has run-ins with Tommy's family in the past and holds a bit of a grudge against, against them, even though Tommy doesn't know him initially. Um, so we see that uh, that relationship becomes very clear and then in one episode in particular we see a lot of Tommy's story, where he's from and we un really understand a lot more about where he's from and where he's gotten to and the reasons why he is has come from where he is and why he is. Tommy and Sebastian, I think, are a bit like Butch and Sundance. That's definitely what we're going for, I think. Uh, yeah, there's, a f there's um, lots of fun there. We have a lot of fun together, me and Tom Blasia yeah, as well. Um, but uh, yeah, they definitely kind of bounce off each other and niggle each other every now and then. Because Tommy is so, they're so opposite in so many ways. But at the same time, I guess they have similarities. I mean, they're both police and they both have different things going on in the background of their lives. Um, more of which you learn about this season, particularly as well with Sebastian, I think. Um, and then with Arabella, because Arabella is the newest member of the team, initially there's, um, like, any, like anybody Tommy deals with really, it's, it's kind of edgy at first, but then maybe he, they learn to get on with each other, <laughs> you know. Well, I really liked the first two episodes, particularly for Tommy's character and everything that happened with Sienna. Um, it was a very strong opener for Tommy. I think there was a lot of his story and his relationships in there were, were very well developed. So I really liked the opener. Um, and then there were moments of other, just personal moments. Anytime you, you get to do scenes that are, are involve your personal story, it's it's nice, you know. You really because apart from the action and the crime and 
and even the dynamic within the, the, the team, also the dynamic outside of the team where you learn more about the character's personal life is always really interesting to do. So I had some of those with my brother and with, uh, with other people. So um, all those aspects thrown in. But I suppose standout for me would be the first two episodes for Tommy. Because there's a scene where I'm getting out of a taxi and kind of looking around. And, because, yeah, Tommy's ne certainly never been to New York before. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to shoot that, you know, kind of a New York set. It was, it was interesting. It was really interesting to take the team out of their comfort zone of Europe, I guess, and put them in America and having to deal with uh, what that system is like. Um, so it was very, uh, it was interesting. It, was, it created a different dynamic, I guess. You know, having spent time in America and then spent time here in Europe, particularly Prague, where we shoot a lot of it, there's so much history that's already built into the, into the locations that you're working in. Even if, you know, if we've seen in a cemetery, there, there are graves that have been there for, you know, hundreds of years, probably. And, and the, the history and the culture of a place seeps into the, the set, no matter where you are or what you're trying to create. So everywhere we go, I think, has those, and, and, and it has to be almost like a character. Each city almost has to be like a character in, 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 the, in the, the setup of the plot and in the, in the scenes. And we really feel that it just kind of comes off the walls when we're, when we're here. And even shooting here in Prague and Barandov, you know, there's so much history just in the studios alone that you just feel things kind of seeping in. It's fun, it's just a lot of fun to, to shoot these, these stories and then you get, to, you, get, and you get to be involved as well with the kind of backstory of your own character. You really feel that uh, Ed and Rollo, you know, want you to be involved and contribute and all those ideas kind of come together. It feels very um, like collaboration, I guess. And because it's a team, uh, I really, like working as part of an ensemble, you know, part of a team. So it's more fun than just doing it on your own, I guess. In season two, there, were, there definitely comes a point where you learn a lot about who Tommy is. Um, so where he comes from, how that has determined who he is now and the actions he's taken to get to where he is and what he's had to sacrifice to, to be where he is and doing what he does. You will learn, um, what, while Tommy is, you, you know, kind of tough and plays everything like nothing really bothers him or whatever, I think you'll see a side of him that is uh, much more affected, much more um, emotionally involved through the circumstances he finds himself in and I think it's a side we've seen some of it but but not this much so I think that'll be interesting to see